What's up Thrill Seekers? Today my dad and I are here um, at Universal Studios Orlando. We are right now in Islands of Adventure and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the four rides that I want to ride that we have not already ridden. Um, I've already ridden Hulk as well as um, Dr. Doom's Fearfall and I did those in um, my Busch Gardens Tampa Spin That Wheel video so you can click up there. We had to finish it um, here at Universal Studios because Busch Gardens Tampa closed unfortunately. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to put um, the four rides that I still want to ride and that is Hagrid's um, Jurassic Park uh, River Adventure, um, Revenge of the Mummy, and Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Um, we're going to put them into a randomizer and it's going to tell us the order that we're going to ride them in. Um, mostly this video is going to be more like a vlog than a challenge video. Um, so yeah, if you like my vlogs then this is going to be pretty much a vlog. Um, and if you like my challenge videos then there's going to be kind of a challenge video aspect in there as well. So um, overall it's going to be a super fun day here. Excited to see some awesome things and uh, ride some awesome rides. So let's go. Alrighty, so I have all four. Oh, there's the camera string in the shot. Um, I have all four things here into the randomizer. All I have to do is press go. Randomize. And it's reloading. And we are going to first ride Hagrid's, then ride Jurassic Park, then Rip Ride Rocket, then Revenge of the Mummy, which is perfect because these two, oh, no, these two are in, um, are here in Islands of Adventure, and these two are in uh, Universal Studios, so it kind of worked out perfectly, so we don't have to switch parks multiple times. Here's your phone back, and let's head over to Hagrid's, um, which is in Hogsmeade. Hulk over there looking beautiful, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> Walking across the bridge. That looks completely really weird. That's what that looks. Looks very weird. But kinda cool. I like that. We're now in Lost Continent, I believe. There's the talking fountain, and we, oh, I think it just squirted up water. Missed it, man. All right, anyways. Oh, snap. This is the entrance to Hogsmeade. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Whoa. This is so cool. Jeez, that is, it says 210 minutes, which is over three hours. So we're gonna do the single rider line. Hopefully it at least cuts it a little bit. But here is Hagrid, or here is with the Zitting World and Hagrid. Well, the single rider line is not an option right now, I guess. Is it not? Is, this, is the single rider line significantly shorter? It's closed? Well, right now it's about the same way as the regular queue. Oh. Well, there you go. So I guess we are sticking it out in this one for a while. and the Hagrid line just looks super awesome. It is raining, by the way, so that sucks. But anyways, sticking it out in the line. If the lighting adjusts, there we are. Looks super cool. Wow. So I'm actually going to cheat a little bit in the challenge. Uh, I have left the line for Hagrid's. My dad is still in line, so I'm gonna go back to him after. But um, I know that he doesn't really like water rides or anything like that, so I am going to go ride 
um, uh, Jurassic Park River Adventure, whatever it's called. Um, and then I'm going to meet him back in line because it's only like a 30 minute wait for um, for Jurassic Park, so. And I got two, right two and road. a half hour wait at least for Hagrid's. So I'm going to go ride um, ride that ride and then I will, uh, yeah, do, do that. I don't, I can't speak. Okay, let's go ride Jurassic Park. Heading on into Jurassic Park where they are doing a whole bunch of constructions. They have construction walls up. And that's where I'm going. And this away. Here we go. Oh yeah, 20 minute wait. Let's go. Single riders. Single rider. Sweet. Here we go. I think I'm going the right way. This is single riders and express. So hopefully I'm doing this right. And also hopefully no one else is doing single riders. Here we go. Boom, like right on. Super fast. Oh yeah. Let's do it. I'm excited. I mean, there is definitely a splashdown on this ride, but other than the splashdown, it should be fun. Here we go. Gonna put this away, because I can't film on the rides, and also don't want this to get soaked. Alright, I'm gonna stop filming, so this is your only clip that you're gonna get of a Jurassic Park. Hello! Alrighty, so I just got off of Jurassic Park River Adventure, um, and it was pretty, pretty good. Um, honestly, I didn't really get as wet as I was expecting to, which is really good because it is raining and not the most warm day, um, so I wasn't really hoping to get wet on the ride. Um, but it was, it was pretty good. I pretty much got on right away with the single rider lines. So definitely recommend using the single rider lines, um, at least for stuff like this. Uh, when we did ride Hulk, the single rider line was actually slower than the normal line. So yeah, but for most rides, it's gonna be faster. Um, and also Hagrid's is not faster. So I don't, I don't know how reliable the single rider lines are um, in general, but that single rider line was pretty, was pretty fast. Um, overall, there was a lot of theming. Um, the storyline was pretty good. Uh, the drop was really fun, um, and all of that kind of stuff. So definitely recommend it, especially if um, it's a warmer day, because you don't get soaked on the ride. Um, well, I was sitting in the fourth row, so um, the second row from the back, but I didn't get soaked on the ride. Um, I know that some people on the same train um, as I was did, but I didn't get soaked, but I definitely did get a little bit like sprayed, I guess. Um, so definitely a good ride to kind of cool off um, and also see some awesome theming. But anyways, gonna go on back to Hagrid's and meet my dad in line for it. Um, hopefully he hasn't well, actually, hopefully he has gone a decent ways, but hopefully he's not, like, so far that I can't find him. Um, so, yeah, let's go on back to Hagrid's. That sign looks so awesome. Oh, yeah, it's kind of overexposing it, but oh well. All right, let's go back on into Hogsmeade. Oh, yeah. Back into the Hagrid's line. There we are. Or dizzy. If you have a 
It's almost there. Watch your step oh yeah. Oh man. Finally, we've waited like four hours. Oh. Well, I think we might catch it just in time for the castle show. Yep. Uh, but we just got off of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motor Bike Adventure. It was pretty good. I would say the launches were way more forceful than I thought they would be. Um, and overall, it was definitely a very fun ride. Um, I would say it was actually a little shorter than I thought it would be. Um, it wasn't as insanely long as I thought it was going to be, um, but it was still an awesome ride. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, and yeah, unless it's like a crazy wait, we we waited four-ish hours. So um, we got in line at um, actually no, like three hours and thirty minutes. Oh, here goes the train. Um, but. Yeah, we got in line when it was about 3.35, um, and then we just got out of line, and it is about 7, 7 o'clock, 7.15, something along those lines. So, overall, really, really good, good ride. Um, if uh, they don't allow, like, they don't accept um, any sort of fast pass system, which kind of sucks, um, because it was a super long line. Um, but I would say I recommend it. Was it worth four hours? No, but go on a day that isn't like the week of Christmas and um, hopefully it'll be at least a little bit shorter. I, I would say I would wait like one to two hours to, for this ride again, probably. Um, but anyways, now we are going to try to head over to Universal Studios um, in order to try to ride um, the two rides that we need to ride. That's Revenge of the Mummy and um, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. So let's go on over to Universal Studios to ride those. are going to try to take the train um, Hogwarts Express hopefully uh, right there, it's like, right not it's an insanely long wait um, for Hogwarts Express but we'll see um, and then like I said Revenge of the Mummy and Hollywood Riffride Rocket are the two new rides that we have to ride um, I've ridden Hollywood Riffride Rocket but not Revenge of the Mummy so yeah um, but let's go on over to Universal Studios and welcome! Oh. Welcome! Hey! Here we are. Welcome to Universal Studios. Hey, hey, we have made it. Oh yeah, here we are. It's raining. Well, just sprinkling. But there's Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Right now, we are going to uh, uh, Revenge of the Mummy for our first ride. Oh yeah. Revenge of the Mummy. Can we try a single? I think we should try single rider. Hopefully it's not crowded. But we'll see. Alrighty. We just did a re a re Revenge of the Mummy. <laughs> we just went, we just rode blah blah blah. And um, it was pretty fun. 
Um, there were a lot of special effects that I wasn't expecting. Was not expecting the launch. I didn't actually really know what the ride was overall. Um, so overall, everything really did surprise me, um, and it was really, really good. So yeah, very, very good. I am uh, definitely, definitely happy with that experience. Now, our last ride. Um, is going to be Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. So let's head on over. It's kind of just over here, so don't have to go too far. But yeah, it's raining so hard. Oh man. So just as we were about to get to the entrance of Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, it shut down due to weather. So we're going to go back to Revenge of the Mummy. I actually did not get a POV or anything last time, so I'm going to try to get one this time. Um, and yeah, let's go ride Revenge of the Mummy again. And then hopefully we'll be able to ride Rift Ride Rocket once either they reopen it or the like the weather clears up and they reopen it or maybe they'll just reopen it and be nice to us. Who knows? Um, but anyways, let's go ride Revenge of the Mummy. We are literally about to walk right on to Revenge of the Mummy. Like there was no one in the single rider line. We're still going. Just walking. Oh, here we go. Here's that actual line, and then right there, right in front of this guy with the, um, like right, right here. That, that right there is, is where, that, that's the ride station. So like, <laughs> well then, there you go. Pretty awesome. Literally about to get on. B&M that this coaster is not a B&M so what you doing man destiny here we go Ah. Well, that's not good. Oh. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. 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 Ha ha. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed this interview a lot more. If I had done my cup of coffee. Again, super awesome ride. Um, definitely recommend it. Definitely. Um, anyways, we're gonna go check on Rip Ride Rocket. If it's not open, then I'll um, update you guys on what we're gonna do um, while we wait for it to open. Well, most likely we're gonna eat something, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Well, it's not raining, so theoretically, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket should open back up, hopefully, um, very soon. But in the meantime, we're gonna just do this ride again because it's super fun. And gotta love the ride for the money. Oh yeah. I will see you guys once we get off the ride and hopefully we will be able to go on Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Let's go. Okay guys, so um, we just went up to the front of um, Rip Ride Rocket and um, we talked to the ride attendant and they said um, that once it rains um, and the track gets wet they have to wait for um, at least some of it to dry so uh, that'll that'll take a second and um, we only have like an hour before the park closes so unfortunately don't even know if I'm going to be able to ride Rip Ride Rocket this time um, I mean I've already ridden it before so it's not 
too terrible. Um, but we are going to go over to Islands of Adventure because Hulk is a 15 minute wait. So um, we're going to go on over to Hulk. Hopefully it stays like that by the time we get over there. Um, and I'm going to ride Hulk um, probably once or twice um, as long as the line stays stays down. And I, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's how it's gonna happen. I, why can't I talk today? I don't know why, but woo, let's go to Hulk. <laughs> Walking through the Simpsons area. Got the police guy with the donut over there. Oh yeah, trying to make it to the front of the park so that we can transition on over to Islands of Adventure. We don't really know where we're going. We're just hoping that this is relatively close to the front of the park, <laughs> so. Yeah. So, um, because we don't know this park, we I think we just did a complete circle um, and did not find the entrance. So, um, we are going to go back to Rip Ride Rocket because we saw it testing. So, hopefully Rip Ride Rocket is gonna be open and hopefully it doesn't have a long wait so that we can just hop on and off it and maybe end on Hulk, uh, potentially. So. Yeah, let's go ride Rip Ride Rocket um, one time. Oh yeah. We are going to go into this little Harry Potter wizarding, wizarding world of Harry Potter um, little land back here, just to see it. Um, not anything interesting, but just kind of want to see it. Oh, people are going this way. Got to follow the flow of traffic. Anyways, here we are. Boom. Here we are. We made it. There's the dragon up there. The famous universal dragon that spits fire. I don't know if it's gonna spit fire now because it's been raining, but maybe. on down Thanks. to Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. Oh, I'm actually gonna, may I film it? Here, because my camera didn't pick it up very well. So here's a better video I wish they were, I just wish they were. of the dragon. That's awesome. Super cool. Alright, let's go to Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. There it goes. With its vertical lift hill and non-vertical drop, which is really dumb, but it's okay. Wee. Wow. We are back at Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket. It says it's a 25 minute wait. Don't think it really is, but we might do single rider line. We'll see. Anyways, boom, here it is. Alrighty, what we're going to do, um, because the park is closed, we're going to go on out to City Walk and we're going to um, eat <laughs> at some sort of restaurant. I heard that they have some pretty good restaurants here, so we'll see what awesome restaurants they have. Um, go on in, eat at one. Uh, hopefully it's not too insanely crowded. It probably is because everybody probably had the idea of going to City Walk to eat after the park closes. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're gonna eat and then we'll go. So I'm gonna film us eating just cause again, they should have some pretty good, um, pretty good stuff here. So wanna show it off for you guys. But anyways, we will see you in City Walk. All right guys, we are here at the Grill and Brew um, from NBC Sports. Uh, there's a whole bunch of sports stuff around and my dad wanted to watch some of the games. Um, so, yeah, he, I don't really care about the game, so he has the seat with a good view of the TV and stuff. Um, but anyways, excited to eat some sort of burger. Let's see what they have here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Starting lineup. Oh, I actually really like how they, like, kind of themed it with Hey, gentlemen, how are we doing? Good, how are you? Great, thank you, thank you. My name's Tanner, I'll be taking care of y'all tonight. Take a chill, also, Coke, Uh... 
I will have some lemonade, please. Is pink lemonade okay? Uh, sure. Perfect. And a pizza? Uh, well. All right. But yeah, look, it's like starting lineup, base-loaded burgers on the green. Oh, snap. I, I know game terms. I know that this is golf. I was actually really good at golf at one point. I was like ranked 79th in the world for my age. 78th? Bragging. Okay. Um, anyways, we got base loaded burgers. That's baseball. <laughs> yeah, now I dance. Hip hop, so I don't really know too many of these terms anymore. Oh yeah. Alright. Burger time. So my dad and I both got the Grand Slam Burger, um, which is literally huge. We got it on the gluten-free bun, um, and our fries are coming out soon. We got gluten-free fries as well. Alrighty, so in the Grand Slam Burger, we have a, I think this is a half pound, half pound slab of meat with more meat. <laughs> Um, some cheddar cheese, I believe. Um, of course, we got the gluten-free bun here. We have some lettuce, I think, somewhere. Um, and then some onion ring little pieces, as well as apple smoked bacon. So, very, very loaded burger here. Alrighty, we just ate here at... Um, um, we just ate here at the... Um, I, what, is, what is it called? What is this place called? It was like Sports Brew Thingy McLove. We'll see. There's probably a sign out here. Anyways, we just ate at the oh, Grill and Brew. That's what it is. Um, by NBC Sports right here in, I think this is City Walk. Yeah, this must be City Walk. Um, anyways. Uh, so yeah, it was it was really really good. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, overall, um, just kind of a I'm not really a foodie, but I'll pretend to be for a second. Um, the burger was super super good. It was massive, so I wasn't able to finish all of it, but we got a box. Um, yeah, uh, there were onion rings on it, which was pretty interesting. It kind of like gave it a little bit of an extra like interesting touch to it um, like an interesting flavor which was really good um, and overall I really really liked it definitely recommend getting it it's the Grand Slam burger um, and then we got gluten-free fries which are pretty much the normal fries um, the fries there normally um, they will I guess like fry them in a in a different substance um, that is not gluten friendly so um, we just got normal fries. Um, it, they did need a little bit more salt, in my opinion, but overall, they were pretty good. Um, so, definitely recommend it. We are in City Walk. We are heading out right now, so I'm going to end this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Um, go check out some other park vlogs. I will link my park vlogs playlist right up here in the um, in the playlist right above here um, so go click on that and you can see more park vlogs um, also click right up here for more decide my day things where I really like do it a little bit more in depth because this one we're gonna ride all four coasters it was just in what order um, which isn't as interesting um, as some other ones that I've done so go click at that card up there but anyways for this video, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.